Hey, Umberto. How are you, sir? I miss you yesterday. What happened to you? Good evening. How Good are evening. you? Good evening. I'm happy because you're here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, what happened to you yesterday, sir? Yeah, ah, uh, so yesterday I went to 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 the tattoo studio. In to the tattoo to, studio, okay. Yeah, so uh, I had a, a appointment. You get an appointment, okay, you, you have a new tattoo? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. And was it for, <laughs> it, it was something special for you? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why, that's why you missed yesterday's class, right? And he was really happy because, you know, Jose was Jose's favorite topic, past continues. So everything was really good, actually. Really? Yeah. And today you came in a really good day, you know. In a really, really good day. Not only because we're going to develop today's class at a speaking skill, as always, but also because we're going to we keep on going to develop the listening skill. And, to, okay. and today, guys, you're going to be like such as reporters, if you can say that. <laughs> yeah, you will be a reporters because basically we're going to listen to uh, the pronunciation of uh, complex sentences. For example, yesterday, when we're talking about past continuous and simple past, we saw both grammar topics together and mm -hmm. uh, to express something that happens in the past, right? But past continuous, basically, you use it. Uh, because to explain that a first action has already been started in the past when suddenly another action interrupts the first one. And that's where the simple past came. So basically, mm -hmm. uh, we can use while, the word while, before past continues and the word when before simple past. So mm -hmm. basically, uh, we, we can join the two sentences or the two verb tenses together to make a complex sentences. And uh, for example, I remember while... That, that mm -hmm. Go ahead. I remember that we, we saw in the next level that topic. In the previous level, you said? In the previous level. Yeah, I, yeah, um, I remember but, that. But this one is a little bit different. Ah, okay. Because, uh, no, we saw the present perfect and the simple past. But today is the past perfect, and the, sorry, the past continuous and the simple past, that's different. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we're going, to, we're going to see the past perfect, okay? Don't worry about it. We'll see it in a minute. <laughs> yes. Okay. Why I open my mouth is there? No, no, no. You know what, for example, you can say, while, um, well, Umberto is talking, Maria del Carmen, uh, had work, had to work, okay? Or came to work, for example. Or came from work, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right now, for example, while uh, Umberto is listening to the teacher explaining uh, yesterday's topic, uh, his, uh, <clears throat> his girlfriend arrived and gave him a kiss. You see, for example, you see? You were paying attention, you were focusing on the class, you concentrated like a real and great student, but something happens, interrupt you and, and misconcentrate you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you like that one. You like the second action, of course. <laughs> yeah, you see? So that is like a little example of how you can use both. But today we're going to learn of the pronunciation. Hey guys, uh, I sent on the WhatsApp before the class a little chart, you see? with two sentences that has like an arrows, down arrows. Can you see it? Do you have the WhatsApp open? Do you or you don't? Yeah, you do? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, what? Adelita, hi, good night. I do have Adelita, Noemi, I have Maria Colindres working, Mr. Jose, Carlitos, Olguita, and Patty, very good. Okay, guys, I want everybody to open the information that I sent it to you before the class, because we're going to start with that one, okay? What I'm gonna do is I want you to have it open, and I'm going to share right now with you some audio program, some audio, and I want you guys to pay attention on the pronunciation, 
after one part of the past continuous, that there's like a scroll down uh, arrow, okay? And then when you begin in to pronounce the second part, there's another scroll down that note. So basically, I just want you guys to pay attention to the pronunciation Then we're gonna practice together, okay? And then you will see, because I have a lot of things prepared for you today. <laughs> You cannot imagine. We're going to develop pronunciation. We're going to develop listening skill for a specific information. And also we're going to develop notation skills. Notation. That is another part of writing. Okay. So <laughs> let the blog start. Sorry. Let the class start. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Uh, uh, Neftali have arrived. Very good. And also Olgita Ramirez. Oh, yay. Very good. We have the two Olgitas here today. That's fantastic. Okay, guys. So bear with me for a moment. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Just let me know if you're able to listen. Okay. Do you already have uh, your WhatsApp open? The th information that I sent it to you? Do you have it ready? Yep. Okay, cool. Page 23, exercise 4, pronunciation. Intonation in Complex Sentences Part A. Listen and Practice Notice how each clause in a complex sentence has its own intonation pattern. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Okay, I will play it one more time, okay? One more time. There, it, listen carefully when the voice of the man goes down in the space of Florida and the space of the ship work also, and also ball, and there's the other one, gold. So I want you guys to pay attention to how you can pronounce it. So because you don't, you, it's going to help you not to sound like a robot or do not put, make like a pause when there is no supposed to be. So you can like uh, basically read more fluently, okay, and more uh, native, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Ready for the second part? Page 23, cool. exercise 4, pronunciation. Intonation in complex sentences. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how each clause in a complex sentence has its own intonation pattern. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. All right, very good. You want to try, guys? Let me listen to you. I want to listen to you right now. Thank you, Jose. You can start. Go ahead. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shrimp wreck. Okay, very good. Number two. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong ball. Okay, very good. You see that each part has its own intonation. You don't pronounce it exactly the same way. Hey, very good, excellent. <laughs> Adelita, you wanna try, girl? Yeah. Look how fancy you look, very good. Okay, go ahead. I cannot listen to you, may I apologize? Now? Yes, much better, thank you. Okay. While while divers were working on the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Okay, very good. Second one. As Jay was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong wall. Very good, excellent. All righty, <coughs> Patty, you want to try? Yeah, I knew it. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> While, drive, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. They discovered a ship shipwreck. Okay. Shipwreck. Listen carefully to one part. While divers, divers is the one that, uh, the people that goes inside the ocean. Yeah? Okay. To, to check the, 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 the fish and everything. And uh, working off the coast of Florida. No Florida, Florida. Florida. Yes. Okay. You can do it again. Okay. Go ahead. The first one. You can do it. While divers we working off the coast of Florida, they discovered it of cheap Greg. Very good. Number two. As Jay was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked in 
it into the run. Go. Go. Uh -huh, very good. Cool. Hey, do you have a sore throat right now? Do you want to drink some, a glass of water maybe? No. No? Are you okay with your throat? Yes, estoy un poco mal. Okay, yeah, I know. I sound a little mm -hmm. bit mal. Okay, I understand. But thank you so much for your effort, Patty. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, listen to the second one. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong ball. Okay? Kick it. Kick it. You see the second one? Kick it into... Kicking into, into the, kick into wrong, the goal. wrong goal. Exactly. He yeah. tripled and kicked it into the wrong goal. Very good, Patty. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, Anita, would you want to try? We cannot hear you, Anita. You need to turn it on your microphone. Okay. Good yes, night. much better. Good night, Anita. Very good. Uh, while the divers were working off the coast of Florida, very good. Covered a, a chip wave. Very good. As Jay, as Jack was running toward the ball, mm -hmm. he tripped and kicked into the wrong wall. Very wall. good, excellent, Anita. Good job. <laughs> and Monsieur Umberto, would you like to try? S'il vous plaît, please. Okay. Uh, while, diver, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Very good. Uh, as Jay was running toward to, the, toward to the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Very good job, Umberto. Congratulations. Good job, sir. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's listen to Olguita Sosa. Would you like to try, girl? I want to hear everybody. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. While divers were working off, off the coast of Florida, mm -hmm. they discovered a shipwreck. Okay, continue. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong wall. Very good, Rongo. Congratulations. Very good, Olguita. Let's listen okay, to Olguita Ramirez right now. Okay? Let's listen to her. Uh huh, Olguita yeah. Ramirez. It's your turn, girl. Hello. Hello. Uh, while guys were working on the coast on the Florida, they discovered on the ship. Mm -hmm. A shake was running, running to, toward the wall. Mm -hmm. He tripped and skipped in the in it into the working room. Very good, not too bad. But let's listen carefully. That, that, that I'm going to pronounce this first one, and then you're going to repeat it. Okay? While while divers were working off the coast of Florida, could you please repeat it for me? While guys, the work of the coast of the Florida. Of the Florida, no, of Florida. Uh, of Florida. Mm -hmm. They discovered a shipwreck. They discovered a shipwreck. Very good. As Jake was running toward the ball. As Jake was running toward the wall. He tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. He tripped on the ticket in the world wall. Cricket into the wrong goal. Cricket in cricket in into the world wall. Yes, kick it. Like poof, kick it. Kick it. Uh -huh, like this. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent, Golguita. Karen Ochoa, Arrocha, sorry. I don't know why I said Ochoa. It's Arrocha. <laughs> Would you want to try, girl? Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, which one? Both of them. I sent it, this information through the WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I want you pronounce it both sentences. Oh. Mm, what's up? <laughs> um, my computer is uh, free freeze. It's froze. It's it's frozen. Okay. Do you have a, Do you have your cell phone with you? You don't have a WhatsApp there. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. Cool. Um, Fix it. Don't worry. Take your time, and I'm going to ask another classmate. Okay. That's okay. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Cool. You're ready. Great. Ready to go. Okay. Both. Yes. Both, please, if you don't mind. Uh. 
while drivers were working off the coast of Florida, mm -hmm. they discovered a shipwreck. Very good. Shipwreck. Yes, exactly. As Jake was running toward the ball, mm -hmm. he tripped and tripped in the ground goal. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Neftali, you want to try, sir? Mr. Neftali. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, evening. sir. You want to try the yes. pronunciation of the two sentences? Go ahead. Okay, there's a rooster there, right? Kiki, kiki, kiki. Uh, I mean, the two, both sentences. The one that I sent yes. to the WhatsApp. Yes, miss. Okay, go ahead. We'll listen to you, sir. An example, miss. Yes, the one that I sent it. The one that you have there in the WhatsApp. As Jay was running toward the ball, mm -hmm. he tripped and kicked. Get it into the wrong goal. Very good. What about the first sentence? While, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, mm -hmm. they discovered the ship work. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent. Hey, is that your rooster, Neftali? No, miss. I, I heard like, ki -ki 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 -ki. I don't know why. No, I'm, I think that this is a neighbor. It's a neighbor. Oh, it's a neighbor's rooster. Okay, that's good. But you yes. know what? That rooster wake up really early because there's not supposed to be in the morning. It's still night. Oh, I mean, and vice versa. Woke up late. <laughs> or full moon. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, we practice that pronunciation. However, this hasn't been stopped, you know? We're, I'm going to give you something. Hey, guys, I will give you one part of the sentence, and you need to complete the second part with your own idea. Okay? We're going to practice first the past continues, and then I will give it to you something in simple past, and you got to put the first thing, okay? The first idea. Okay? So good? Are you guys ready? Oh, of course you're ready. You're always ready. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me give it to you that. Okay. I will give it to you this right now. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to send it to you through the WhatsApp because it's easy for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Just let me know as soon as you receive it, okay? Bear with me for a couple of minutes. I almost there. There you go. <clears throat> I will let you know once I send it to you. Okay, guys, I sent it to you already. I sent it to the first part. Yeah, the first part. What is the first part, uh, Humberto? Ha, he he's chatting with Why? his girlfriend. Huh. No. <laughs> no teacher. Huh. Why, while Sam was traveling in South Af America. South America. Okay. Well, Sam was traveling in South America. Okay, so that is the first part. Hey, what verb tense? Is it simple past or past continuous, guys? Past continuous. Past continuous. That means that if you have to come up with a different with a second idea to complete the sentence. But in this case, the second idea has to be in simple past. So the simple past is there is a sentence that is going to interrupt the first action. The first action is that Sam is traveling to South America. So what happened while well, he was traveling? Any idea? He broke. He what? He broke his leg. Very good. That's a good one. Another idea, Jose? Ooh. Come up with ideas. Uh huh. Ah, come on, Jose. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. While Sam was traveling in South America, uh -huh. he knew new people. Uh, he met new people. He met new people. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, Karen, any other one? While well, Sam is traveling in South America, to South America. Uh, well, Sam was traveling in South America. He got sick. He got sick. He got sick. Remember that it's a sample pass, right? He got sick. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Carlitos, any other idea? 
Hi, teacher. Hey, um, Helen. Okay, good. I saw Helen's uh, <coughs> co-worker. Go ahead. Okay. While Sam was traveling in South America, he married with her girlfriend. Really? He met with his girlfriend. Yeah. Or you can say his girlfriend arrived. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. because because uh, that second action interrupts the first one. Okay. Okay, okay. While uh, Carlito was giving the example, Mr. Umberto chat on the phone. <laughs> no, just teasing you, Umberto. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. So you can say that is, yeah, I know, I know you were paying attention to class. I understand that. <laughs> okay, now, guys, it could be, this is easy. But now I will send you the second part. I'm going to send you a simple past sentence, and you got to come up with the first part that it must be past continuous, okay? We need to practice that. Okay, so bear with me. Let me send it to you. <laughs> the second part. Okay. This is going to be easy, I think so. Let me check. <laughs> hey, did you receive it, guys? You should receive it already. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so, Patti, what is the second part? Can you please read it for me? Okay, he Me. ran into Me. an Me. old friend in Lima. He ran into an old friend in Lima. He ran into an old friend in Lima. Exactly, that means that he met his old friend in Lima, Peru, for example. Yeah, remember? Okay. We're okay. talking about South America. So, that was a past, simple past tense. Can you come up, Patty, with uh, the first part of the sentence, but it has to be past continuous? Yes. Okay, go ahead. It's a compliment. The, it's a compliment, um, yes. Okay. While Sam was traveling to South America, mm -hmm. he, ran, he ran into an old friend in Lima. Uh, that's easy. Because the information was there. <laughs> Hi, Patty. I estaba copiando. I'm just, just cheating. No. Okay. No, no, I'm just teasing you, Patty. Now, Patty, I want that you come up with a different example of the one that is there. Okay. A different example. For example, oh. I, I said the second part. Okay. The second part, you have to leave it. You ran into an old friend in Lima. Okay. That part, leave it. But I want you to come up with a different idea for the first part of the sentence. Uh -huh. okay, Which in this case okay. is going to be past continuous. You have to put different things. <clears throat> well, Andrea was um, working. Mm -hmm. um, in Peru? <laughs> no, working. Um, yes, because you in, remember that the second part is, is uh, in Lima. In right? Lima. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's ran, no, it's he, he ran into an old friend in Lima. Okay, but it's Andrea, and then it's, you said he? Oh, perdón, it's, uh -huh. it's ella. Ah, exactly. Okay. Oh, well, if it's Andrea Bocelli, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, that's good. I, I'm going to validate because it's Andrea Bocelli is a man's name. Okay, so don't worry, Patty. That's good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Adela, what about you, girl? Adela, Adela. Hello, Adela. I think Adela's not there, right? Let me ask Helen Mercedes. Helen, how are you, girl? Hi, Helen. Hey, can you come up with a, with a different idea? I sent the second part in the chat, on the WhatsApp. Do you have it with you? Yes? Into an old friend? Yeah, exactly. So what I want you to do is to put the first part of the sentence, but the first part has to be in past continuous. Uh-huh. That is hard, right, guys? It's hard to think. Because it's easy when, when somebody already give you the first part of the sentence. Ah, simple, pass. Ah, easy, peasy, queasy. But this one is not too easy. 
because this is already in simple past and you gotta come up with the first part of it, but it has to be in past continuous. That is, that is not easy. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. No, right? <laughs> I know, it's a little bit hard. Okay, don't worry, take your time. And uh, let's ask Jose. Jose, you have an idea? Oh, yes, yeah, with a pizza, yeah, of course. <laughs> Sorry, my nephew. I lady. know, he's really nice. Here, I yeah. love him, he's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> my example mm -hmm. is that uh, who was the son? Uh, while the son was drinking a coffee in Peru, uh -huh. he ran into an old friend in Lima. Okay, very good, very good. That's a good one. But use another name, okay? Leave Sam, you can use Humberto, you can use Carlitos, you can use Neftali, you can use anybody, okay? <laughs> when I say Humberto, they're like, okay, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay, Humberto, now that you're ready, wake up. Okay, give us a sentence. It's my turn. Yes, it is, sir. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna change my this, the, the idea. Okay, so cool. In, in, in my case, uh, can I say, uh, Sylvia traveled in Europe, in Europe, when she was traveling in Paris. Okay, very good. But tell me something. The first part it has to be in past continuous, and the second part it has to be in simple past. The first part of the sentence. The first part in, in the, of the sentence is in... Past continuous. Ah. And then the second part, which is the action that interrupts the first one, it has to be in simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, while Sylvia was traveling in Paris, uh, she met Ronald in Europe. Oh, okay. She, no, she, she ran... She ran into Ronald in Europe. I ran into you? Oh, no. <laughs> I will get into trouble if I run into you, sir. <laughs> no. Hey, do you remember Whitney Houston? I want to run to you. That were that, that and son? No? She's like, it's like a, it's a, it's a soundtrack of uh, the Bodyguard movie for Whitney Houston. I want to run uh -huh. to you. You remember that? When I ran to you, that means that I saw you, you saw me, and I was like, then, oh, come on, babe. That, that's just run to you. So that means that <laughs> your girlfriend ran to you. <laughs> <Not me. laughs> Oops, no way. <laughs> He's bad, right, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carlitos, save me, please. <laughs> any, any other sentences, Carlitos? While John was buying a new perfume, perfume? perfume, perfume. close to the airport, uh -oh. he ran into an old friend in Lima. Okay, very good. Excellent. Oh my God. This sentence is more sophisticated, you know? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good, Carlito. Mm -hmm. Olguita, what about you, Olguita? Eh, Olguita Sosa, sorry. I need, I need to distinguish from Olguita. <laughs> Yes. Um, while Sam taking a phone call, was taking a phone he call. Ran, was was taking a a phone call, mm -hmm. a call phone call, mm -hmm. a phone call. <laughs> he ran into the into an old friend in Lima. Very good, excellent, excellent. Michelle Vidal, what about you, girl? What do you have for us? Hopefully Michelle is here. Yes, he is here. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Um, Give us an example. Maybe um, while Sam was playing soccer in Peru, mm -hmm. he ran into an old friend in okay. Lima. Very good, excellent. Wendy, you have any different idea? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, this topic I don't understand very good. It's because you were not here yesterday. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no, you I were was. right. But you were like, you have some of the problems, right? 
Yes, it's just uh, I have a lot of work, so mm, that's why the way. time I mm. mean that. Okay, do me a favor. I will try to send you some information uh, that you will be able to help you, but also try to watch that yesterday's video, okay? Okay. Okay, don't worry. Take call. Just listen to everybody's um, explaining the situation or give an example, mm -hmm. and you will understand a little bit much better. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay, guys. So now that we have practiced that, just as a quick review, we are going to continue with the listening part. Okay, we're going to continue with that. So please, guys, you're going to listen three news. Okay, no, well, I, well, it will be more than three. But actually, guys, you got to pay attention to this specific uh, information. And also, you're going to develop your notation skills. That means that you need to get a piece of paper, okay, and a pen or pencil, whatever. And I'm going to send it to you something right now because um, basically this is going to be what you're going to listen. To. Okay, bear with me for a moment. I will send it to you uh, for pictures. Okay. Let me check. Okay. This is the four, um, basically, the four news that you're going to listen. But I want you guys to pay attention to three things that will happen in this. And this is what I want you to do, God. Pay attention to your task will be to write it down when did uh, this action happen or this news happen, where it happens and what happened exactly. Okay, that will be the three things. Let me send it to you right now. Okay, I think you have it already, right? Do you? Do you have it? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. so you're going to listen three. You're going to listen three stories. So one of the picture is not there. Okay, that is one of the tricky parts. So I want you guys, in the first part, what I want you to do is just to uh, basically just put from one to three, okay? So that means that one of the pictures is not going to be there. One of the pictures is not going to have a number. It's only from one to three. So that is the first thing that I want you to do. We're going to develop the listening skill, okay, right now. Only the listening skill for a specific information. I'm going to play it two times. The first time I want you to do that, and the second time I want you to fill the spaces of the second picture that I sent it to you right now. So just bear with me. Okay, let's play it one more time the first time and just listen to one, two, three, okay? Uh, that's the only thing that I need right now from you. Only two number from one to three. Are you, um, do you understand, Patty? Mm, Helen, Jose, Carlitos, Adela, Wendy, Karen, Umberto, do you understand right now? What are you gonna do right now? Party? Yes? Or yes. no? I, I, I think so. No, you think so, no. Yes or no? <laughs> okay. Yes. I'll send you the four pictures, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But it will be only three news. So that means that one picture is not going to be there on the news yes. that you're going to listen. So I want you to number the picture from one to three. Okay? okay, that's the only thing that I want right now. Right now. Okay, cool. Very good. All righty. I'm <clears throat> ready to go. Just bear with me. Where is it? Let me check it out. Oh, yes. Here it is. There you go. I'm going to share only the audio, okay? task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. Can you listen guys? Yes? Okay, okay. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. 
The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, guys. So what will be the picture number one? Uh-huh. I want just to give it to me no, which number is the first one. What is the first new that you heard mentioned? Four. Four. Is the snake. The, the snake one. Snake. Exactly. The man with the snake. That would be picture number one. Very good, Wendy. What about picture number two? Or well, story number two? It's about two girls. Um, mm -hmm. Two girls that were, uh, that were wet, right? Yes. Uh -huh. They were like standing uh, on the seashore, a la orilla de la playa, seashore. Very good. Very good, Wendy. What about number three? Which is number three? Carlitos, Jose, uh, Humberto, I don't know. Two, two police off here. Okay. Uh, the an accident okay. Go to the Very driver. good. Very good. So, so which one is missing? Which is the picture that is not there? Oh, that was not mentioned. Number three. That girl with a police Number officer? Three. That girl with a police officer, correct. Very good. Okay, guys. So you already identify which is the first one, which is the second, which is the third one. That is going to help you a lot. Why? Because now it comes, that it, we could say the little bit hard part. Today, you're going to be like reporters, right? You need a reporter, they listen to somebody speaks and they need to take notes, right? They need to catch the main ideas. So that's what you're gonna do. I actually send you three categories for each story. The first one is where did it happen? Where, which is scenario? When it happened, the time. And the third one, you have to specify what is exactly what happened, okay? So that will be the three. You gotta answer each three question per story, okay? Per story. So you're gonna be a reporter, okay? There you go. Are you ready? Do you understand? Patty, Adena, Helen, Anita, Neftali, Michelle, Algita, Wendy, Algita. Yes. Patty, are you good? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes Miss. Yes, Neftali. Okay. Ready? Yes. We're going to develop notation skills, okay? That is really important. So, so I want... Yes, Neftali? I have to say the sentence that describes in the picture. No. You are going to listen the news, okay? I'm going to play it one more time. And you gotta okay, answer okay. the three questions that I sent it to you right now to the WhatsApp. Where did it happen? When did it happen? And what did happen exactly? That's what I want. Okay, does that? Sense. All right, let me play it one more time and I will share it right now on my screen with you. Let me play it one more time. Okay, okay I'm going to share it right now on my screen. Give me just one moment. Okay, is everybody ready? Yep. Because I'm going to play it only one time, guys. Only one time. No more. Audio program I can listen. With different news stories. What about now? 
Yes, I can. Yes? Okay. All right. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. Okay, guys, tell me, what is your task? ¿Cuál es tu cometido, your goal, per story, por historia? What you have to do, ¿qué tienen que hacer? We, we are going to, to take it. notes about the, the situation. Uh -huh. For example? And we we, we have, have to explain know. when did it happen, where mm -hmm. it happened, and what did it happen. Exactly. That's what I want. Just that. Okay, so ready, guys. Let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay, I'm going to give you right now time for you to write the answer for the three questions. Don't listen to Pleno Legislativo, okay? All right. I will give you time. Okay, let's continue with the second story. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Okay, I will give you time for, to write it down for the second story. The story is about the two... Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell anything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, miss. That's okay, Naftali. Just write it down. Finish for the second story. Yeah, let me play the third one. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, do you already have that or would you like me to play it one more time, the three of them? Uh-huh. Patty, Helen, Neftali. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay. Okay, one more time just because Hi, of everyone. you. Different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where Can you did listen, the story guys? Yes. take place. When did okay. it happen? Yes. And what actually happened? So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia.
The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. All right. Okay, guys. What you got, it was you got, okay? What you have, was you have. Yeah, okay, very good. And uh, Adela, <laughs> ah, I knew okay. it, I knew it. Tell me, okay, tell me, uh, the, uh, scenario number one, uh, where did it happen? Where? In Thailand. In, in a town in Thailand, very good. When? Oh, when? Uh, when? What day? When? No, no, remember? No, no, I, I, no. You didn't, you didn't no, take listen. note? Ah, you didn't take note. In this, in this part, no. The other two history, no. yes. The other two, no. The other I, report. I, I'm asking you for the first one, not the other two. Come on, Adelita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. But at least you gave us the first part. Excellent. Okay, Karen, what about you? When did it happen? It happened on Sunday. Exactly, on Sunday. Very good, very good. If you don't have it, write it down. It happened on Sunday. Very good, excellent. Uh -huh. And what happened, eh, Jose? What happened? When the friends and was walking to the house, uh, the uh, a man has a snake in the way. How you say that in English? Around his neck. His, neck. his neck. 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 Yes, neck. remember, I will kill in the neck. Yeah, remember that. Yeah. And the, uh, the snake was uh, uh, more tightly. Tidy. More tightly. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, but, and he take off uh, the, of the neck. Yeah, okay. but, the, uh, but he could escape from the neck, the man, yeah? Did the neck kill the man or no? No, it, no, okay. I think he take he survived. Off. Yeah, he's whew, yes. If can you imagine? Oh my goodness. Very good, excellent. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Wendy, okay. Number two. Tell me, where did it happen? Where? In the coast north in Australia. Very good, exactly. Uh Carlitos, when? On Friday. On Friday. Is everybody agree on Friday? Yeah? Are you agree, guys? Yeah. Yes? Yes? Okay. Friday. Very good. Friday. Okay, Olguita. What happened? Two girls uh, lost. Mm -hmm. Got lost. The shore. Uh -huh. On the shore. Shore what? Mm -hmm. Sure. Two girls got lost. Very good. Okay, that's that's part of it. But you're missing something. Okay, okay. Give me more information, uh, Michelle Vidal. Give me more information. I think. Uh, I rem I huh? remember that she um, lost. So they, they got lost. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, and they um, get out of the of the boat. The, uh, of the boat and swim to the seashore. Swam and swam. Very good. Swam to the seashore. Very good. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. How many days, guys, these girls took to arrive to a nearest town? How many Several days? days? Several days. Several days. Around four days. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. It's story number three. Tell me, Patty. Where it happened, story number three. Where? 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 
Do it. In, no, 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 no. Where? Where? I mean, where? This place. Anybody can help, Patti? Anita? California. Where? California. California. Very good. Very good. Hollywood, California. California. When? 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 Mm -hmm. oh, uh huh. Carlitos, when? First mm -hmm. day in the morning. Okay, in the morning. Very good. So, Simone, okay. What happened, Humberto? Uh, the police were chasing a thief. Uh huh. But, and? but the thief, but the thief uh, turned back to the police, and uh, the thief saved the police, and the police, the local police, retired the charge. Very good, cool. retired the charges. That means okay, you're free, man. That's good, right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys, was it easy the exercise, or was it not easy? Easy, peasy, quizy. Uh huh. Humberto. Mm -hmm. Not easy. Not easy. Very not easy? Very cool. Difficult? No, easy for me. Not easy? Okay, I know. Because, guys, uh, the three reporters have different accents, okay? And they speak really fast. So, can you imagine being a reporter? You need to, like, listen carefully and just take notes of the really important things that it will help you when you arrive back to the channel to give or to give the news, okay? To write it down or to present it in a broadcast, for example. So this, this, is part, this is another a skill that we need to develop, guys. The specific information, but at the same time, the annotation. Because, guys, it's not, it's not the same that listening and at the same time you're writing, okay? You need to, like, divide your brain in two things at the same time. Listening and writing, listening and writing. If you work in a call center, that helps you a lot because you got to develop both of them. But you see, it's really important. You would like to make a more exercises like that? Yes. That will help you a lot. Okay, now, guys, you have already the stories. So now you're going to be a reporter. Okay, I will give you two minutes. Pick one of the three stories. Which one you prefer? It could be number one. It could be number two. It could be number three. Okay, and you are the news uh, reporter for Inglés Corporativo, okay? And you guys are going to present the story, okay? Like, hey guys, good night. This is Umberto Free Class Corporativo. Today we have a really good news that it will be awesome. So please stay around and we'll be right back. Like that, right? You see? <laughs> yeah, you gotta like put some um, emotion, right? Like be yourself. Be yourself telling the story, okay? You just listen to three stories. So I want you guys to be yourself. Pick one of them. It could be the first one, the second, the third one. Doesn't matter. Pick one of them and you are going to present it in your own way. Okay? Got it? It's, okay, Adele is like, oh my God, I will have a heart attack. No, remember, we need to develop the speaking skill as well and the improvisation as well. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, I will give you two minutes, guys. I'll be right back, but I will be right here, okay? You can you can write any information if you want to. A little paragraph that will help you to give to provide the news, okay? And and also guys, Humberto, Jose, Patti, Adela, you can you can use a, a background music if you want. Cling 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 like tan tan tan. You see Mario Bros, right? Tan tan tan. You can use any of them, okay? That would be nice. Use your imagination. Okay, one more minute, guys, and we come back together.
Okay, time is over. Whatever you have is whatever you have. Okay? <laughs> Volunteer, victim, I'm sorry, participant. Okay, let's listen to uh, 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 Wendy. Very good, Wendy. <laughs> yes. Okay. We, if you want, we, 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 can, we can see you if you want to. You can turn it off your camera. But it doesn't work. Ah, okay, okay, yes, of course. Oh, yes, only the cat, uh, cat? Looking, looking for his Wi-Fi. Okay, very good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So we listen to you. You are the new reporter for Inglés Corporativo. Go ahead. Which story you're going to let us know? One, two, or three? Uh, two. Two, okay, go ahead. We listen to you. Hi, guys. This is Wendy for Inglés Corporativo. I'm going to report you. This week, uh, exactly the Monday, I have a new from two girls who are visited to his friends and they got to sleep in the ship and they forgot they have to down to the ship mm -hmm. and they swim in the, in the beach and they... And the citizens? Uh, they found the girls, and I don't know. That's it. You cannot say I don't know when you're reporting. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. That's all that I have for today, guys. Thank you that's so much for joining Glass Corporativo like that. Okay, finish. <laughs> finish, the, finish the story. Go ahead, Wendy. You can do it. Finish it. Okay, that's all I have for you guys, and this is all I have to report. For English Corporativo. Very good. Have a good night. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, guys. Excellent. All right. Very good, Wendy. And then you want to try? Ay, she said. Why? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Which, yeah. which is sorry? One, two, or three? Hello, student. In the platform online, okay. today is the last day for finish the activities in the platform. The five, the first <laughs> five person that finished give the give tickets for the movies. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So continue, continue. No. Uh, until that that will be all for today. This, okay, for today. You can receive a ticket for Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. Then finish at soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Inglés Corporativo. Reporter for you, Adela Garcia. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. That, is, that was a subliminal message, guys, you know? <laughs> Excellent job, Adela. Great job. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> Very good, girl. Excellent. Okay, Jose, what about you, sir? What you have for us? Oh, I, I will claim my tickets. <laughs> okay, you oh yes, definitely you already got them. <laughs> okay, I, I have a, a little of, of the history. Okay, cool, go ahead. Incredible and dangerous. Was this the soccer in California when a police one police was following a thief and they fall down in the river? But the thief helped they uh, help them and the police uh, they perdono. forgive him uh, forgave him forgave the him in the past forgave him the cargos the chargers the chargers very yeah. good excellent you know awful. you know what guys okay finish that story jose finish the story okay uh, that is all uh, I have for you, English Corporativo. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. This reporter is really like, that's all I have for you, English Corporativo. Thank you. Okay. You're so serious, man. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. <laughs> Very good. You, guys, you're putting in practice when you're giving a story, you're putting in practice a uh, past continuous and simple past, you know, you're putting in practice right now. Very good, excellent. <laughs> okay, Monsieur Umberto, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur, arrêtez, délai. You can do it. It's my turn. Yes, sir. 
If you if you can use a microphone, that would be awesome. Okay. Hey, listen to. Them. Good evening. <laughs> this is Ronald speaking from Miss Glass Corporativo News. We are going to talk with the best reporter, Umberto. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, good evening. We are in in Thailand, specifically in a little town near from Cambodia. And a man died because he bought a snake and he put his pet around his neck. Now he's died. And now here we are looking at a dead man, but his wife are very, very happy because he left millions and millions of dollars. So, we went to the studio. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing, sir. Excellent. Very good job. We're proud of you. You see? Woo -hoo. <laughs> but you know what? That man didn't, li didn't die, but you make him li die, right? <laughs> okay, to get the million dollars. <laughs> Very good. And last but not least, let's listen to <clears throat> Carlitos. What you have for us? <laughs> okay, teacher, I, I, I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my okay. god, this one bird is crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, this is Carlos Reporter for English Corporativo News. Uh, this is an incredible, incredible story. Uh, early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers who were chasing a thief, they lost of the control of the a vehicle and the team back to the to try to help and rescue the policers police officer uh, the department for the brave action uh, drop our chair for the team and they 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 drop all the chair for the team okay report from english corporativo carlos Okay. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Very good job. Okay. So tomorrow we need to listen to Patti, eh, Olguita Ramirez, Neftali, Michelle, and Olguita Sosa, right? And also Maria Colindes. Yes. Okay. So be prepared, guys. Hey, do you like it? Was it good? Yeah, it was funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult to change. It is difficult. It is difficult, but you have to do it. Okay, that will help you like to get fluently, right? To self-confident, and at the same time, we are going to also develop your other skills. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to practice something else. Okay, well, we'll continue practicing the listening, and of course, the speaking. And tomorrow we're going to see another. Tense party. <laughs> Just to let you know in advance. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, I'm so happy to see you once again. It was really awesome class. Thank to you. Okay, hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night, Thank you. Good night everybody. Good night.